Hi, well, I'm Michael O'Neill. I'm with Insight as a Service. I'm joined today by Minister Thank you. Thanks for so much for joining us. Delighted to be here. Thanks. So here we are at the University of Waterloo, yeah. the Innovation Center. Yes. And, and, you know, as innovation is our theme, I thought I'd like to ask you about um, invention versus commercialization, the two key components of, of innovation. What do you see as the most effective supports that government can provide to well, oh, there's, there's quite a broad range. In fact, uh, on the business incentive side for both invention and commercialization, mm -hmm. we probably have too many programs. Uh, Tom Jenkins did a study for us a couple of years ago and found about 60 different programs for business. Yeah. It, so we were looking at consolidating those. But on the invention side, there are both programs uh, within that 60, but also there's significant support for our colleges and universities and basic research. The struggle that we have had in Canada is not invention or creation of knowledge. It's actually taking that knowledge somewhere for social or econ and or economic gain. So we've uh, long since recognized the difficulty Canada has at moving knowledge into the, the global marketplace. So, uh, both my agency, the Federal Economic Development Agency, Industry Canada, Finance, uh, Immigration, all of us are working as a whole of government to improve the ability of business to create knowledge as well as transform existing knowledge into good quality products or services that obviously are going to improve the lives of folks around the world, but they will also create jobs and quality of life here. And commercialization seems to be a particular challenge for government, and the government has a really good track record in supporting prevention. Um, but, but how do you attack commercialization? What sorts of promotion can, can government provide? In that? Well, it's always good if somebody comes up with something the world immediately demands. Sometimes you come up with something and you're trying to find a market for it. So it's always a balance between the push and pull. But we leave it up to the private sector most often. We feel that they're in the business of being successful. They have to have money in the game, and, and uh, so that's important to us. But at the, at the end of the day, we do know that our entrepreneurs and our creators uh, tend not to have access to funding, whether it's angel or venture cap capital. Uh, they also lack access to skills. They're young entrepreneurs in many cases. They need to know which step comes after which step, which comes after which step. Uh, and then there's just the skills of entering these global value chains. So the government, the federal government, has looked carefully at this ecosystem from start to finish. We, and we have plotted at FedDev where we're very strong as a federal government and where we're not so strong. And so we've listened to stakeholders and developed programs that will actually fill those gaps. Mm -hmm. So we're really in the game to help business from the start literally to the finish. We're opening up new markets around the world. We've got our trade commissioners and ambassadors on the same page. We have funding for brand new companies, funding for existing companies to become more competitive and efficient. We have funding for businesses to partner with universities, and it just goes on and on. So thank you for, for that. That's a perfect lead-in for me to put you on the spot. Since you're talking about an ecosystem that spans uh, invention and commercialization, if you're able to allocate 100% of your attention across that ecosystem, where do you think you should focus in order to have the government be most effective in helping Canadian industry to develop? Well, I think that because I noticed the strengths and weaknesses of the nation, I mean, we always have to have investments that's very strong in knowledge discovery and basic blue sky research. And we always have to have uh, funding available to encourage young entrepreneurs to become employers and create those products the world wants. But knowing the weaknesses that we have in Canada and our strengths, of which there are many, I'd say the federal government needs to focus on bringing knowledge to the global marketplace, on transitioning our economy, perhaps from more uh, traditional manufacturing to more advanced additive manufacturing, the higher skilled jobs of the future. As a nation, we can't compete with some of these low wage countries, and I'm not sure we want to, but we certainly can compete in uh, the high knowledge service economy, as well as goods, software, information communications technology, health products, uh, the list goes on and on. 
of where the economy is turning to, and we're well positioned to uh, be at the forefront of that. So enabling the global development of knowledge-based industries. That's where Canada will ex excel. We, we're really good at starting up companies. We're not really good at growing them. We're really good at creating knowledge. We're not really good at taking that thought out of the lab and into the living room or hospitals of the world. And so that's where I think the government right now would do very well. And that's exactly why we have an agency like the Federal Economic Development Agency for Southern Ontario to kind of to kind of reinvigorate the business, assist manufacturers in the transition to the new economy, and that's the space we're playing in. And it seems to be working out very well. well thank you very much. I really My pleasure. That. Thanks for your time.